Hey everybody and welcome to this 64th episode of Friday Fruit Clips. I am honored that you would give me even just a small amount of your time, so thank you. If this is your first time here, uh, please do not forget to subscribe. It is mandatory, so that's true. So hurry up now and make haste and click on that subscribe button quickly. There you go. Now, Friday Fruit Clips, of course, is my weekly cutting edge, critically acclaimed, award-winning YouTube series. And yes, the haters hate that I've won awards. And this is where I expose the false prophets, the false teachers, those that would corrupt the word of God for their own benefit. And so what we're going to do here is take a look at our banner scripture, Ephesians 5.11 and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That means to expose, and that's what we do here. Now, throughout my video, I'm gonna show you the ridiculousness of these hucksters, these scam artists. You can see some clips that are sometimes so over the top that you'll find yourself wondering how anyone can believe such nonsense. You also may find that well, you're, you're laughing a little bit and you know what folks that's okay sometimes you've got to laugh or you just might go a little bit crazy so I've got some pretty fruity clips picked out and I'm gonna show these clips to you and then I'm also gonna offer commentary so go ahead and grab yourself a hot cup of tea and perhaps some crumpets and we're going to fire this thing up so if you're ready, oh, that's terrible. Anyway, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and do this. You ready? All right, so first up, we've got Hank Kuhneman. There he is. Joe Pesci Jr. here. Hank, of course, is a confirmed false prophet, which in turn makes him a clown. So we're going to do a quick segment. Uh, this is just a short video. I came across this the other day. And I just want to use it to point out one of Hank's great abilities, and that is his acting skills. It is really something to behold. So we want to expose it. So let's just go ahead and roll this first clip. You know, I just had a, I just had a strange vision. Man, I, there it is again. Have you ever seen pharmaceuticals? They have the RX. I just saw the RX, and I saw God go x right over the top of it and says i'm about to shake the pharmaceutical company, companies you know i just had a i just had a strange vision man I, there it is again all right so folks this is part of how these false prophets operate in order to fool their congregations look at his face he's up there on stage and, and of course why not up on stage is where actors belong. And just out of nowhere, completely unexpected and unplanned, right? Here comes Visions and hangs up. Oh, look, I got a vision. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there it is again. And he acts like he's getting physically hit by visions and or thoughts to the point where, what? It makes him wince? Does it hurt? I guess it does, huh? His assembly thinks that this is real. Oh, look, our prophet's getting a vision from God right now, right here as we watch. And folks, here's the thing. He's not getting smacked with visions or thoughts. And do you know why? Because Hank Kuhneman is a blasphemous false prophet. Bingo. He makes his living lying in the name of Jesus Christ. He's the last person on earth that would get any actual real prophecy from our God. So pay attention, folks. Note their acting skills, and that's it. That's all for this segment. Just a quick point them out, and then let's move on to the next one, and that's what we'll do. All right, folks, so next up, we've got a newcomer. Take a look at the channel, Ellen McFarlane. Look at the title. God said this time an angel will be sent. Love connection. We'll do it in two and two. Right back. Hashtag prophetic word. This particular video, 6,650 views. And of course, Ellen having about 13,500 subscribers. Think she has something profound to say? 
Let's give it a listen. I'm here to prophesy over you today. And the word that God gave me is this time an angel will be sent to make the connection. This time an angel will see to it. I am here to prophetically declare over you. Thank you, Lord, as I just begin to release this word that it will be an angel sent. This time an angel will be sent to make your divine connection, to make your relationship connection, because it's gonna, going to be a God-ordained connection. Now, I was reading in the Bible, as I do, and as you should do, <laughs> on a daily basis. Okay, come on now, beloved. All right. And, um... All right, well, Ellen, you kind of lost me at the end there. You know, when you said that you were reading the Bible and stuff, that was very confusing for me. Uh, anyway, Ellen, you may have noticed, mentioned that God is, well, sending an angel this time, this time in order to establish, well, it sounds like your love connection. And just in case you have any doubt as to what she's talking about, take a look at this. We scroll down, look what she wrote here. She says, I prophetically declare over you that God is sending forth an angel to make your relationship connections. Just like God connected Isaac to Rebecca, an angel was dispatched to make the match. And then, she, of course, she quotes Genesis 24-7. So, uh, quite interesting. It seems like that's the shtick that Ellen is going to use here. That Chuck Woolery love connection type thing. Selling the idea that she's going to help the singles. All you single ladies and single men. Uh, just in case you clicked on this video, well, God's dispatching an angel for you to help you find that right man or to help you find that right woman, because why not? This is what the gospel is all about, right? And of course, no, it's not. This is shameful. This is nonsense. And Ellen has zero authority in Christ to be doing this. Prophesying to, again, anyone that would click on her video that God is for sure, for sure, dispatching angels now to bring you your new man or your new woman. It's just absolutely terrible. So we want to point this out. This is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. There's no salvation being shared here. This is nonsense. In Ephesians chapter 4, look at verse 14, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. As we see uh, just a greater and greater rise of false prophets, false prophetesses on social media, they're coming up with all new ideas and new shticks to, again, as it says here, lie in wait to deceive. And so just put your trust in God and be ready for you're going to see all kinds of new ones like Ellen here popping up with new ideas and new doctrines and new lies and new false prophecies and so on and so forth. And just mark them and avoid them because it's nonsense. Focus on Jesus Christ. Focus on what Jesus did for us and what he commissioned us to do, and that is to spread the gospel. And so with that, we're going to mark Ellen, and we are going to avoid her because this isn't the gospel. So with that, we'll move on to the next segment. And I'm Chuck Woolery. I hope all your dates are good ones. Good night. All right, folks, so next up we've got, oh, good grief. Oh, I just, I just got a little bit sick. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, folks, it's Prophetess Barbie. Oh! Not kidding, that's her name. This is real. Welcome to real life. If you ever doubted the power of delusion and deception, well, Barbie is living proof that anybody can deceive anybody. Uh, this is also a good time that if you have any conditions of cringe, uh, go ahead and pause the video and take a double dose of cringe away. And welcome back. Okay, so here we are. Uh, Prophetess Barbie, what uh, prophetic wisdom will you grace us with today as you pretend to speak for God? Go ahead. Listen to me. Do not stand in the doorway, okay? The Lord is saying, caution, 
the Lord is saying, this is a automatic door. Do not stand in the doorway. It is dangerous. You will be harmed. Now, this is a prophetic word for somebody, okay? And it's not for everybody. And you must test the spirit behind every single prophetic word, including mine. But if this word is for you, and if you are receiving this word, this is not a coincidence. God is reaching you. All right, so yeah, this is primarily what prophetess Barbie does, right? She does these weird, fake prophecy videos. Don't stand in the doorway or you may be harmed. You know, last week it was, do not walk under the oak tree in the afternoon. All right, next week it'll be, do not purchase shaman toilet paper. It's very scratchy on your bum. It's just, it's just ridiculous stuff. But of course, there's an audience for this. People eat it up. They love it. And she always, always gives herself easy escapes with stuff like, well, this prophecy may be for you, may not be for you. Certainly test the spirit. Take it before the Lord. It's just unbiblical garbage. And again, it's more akin to psychics, professions, certainly not godly prophets. And you'll never see anything like this in the Bible, of course. But Barbie is a scam artist, and she's figured out that there's more gullible people out there than not. And so she runs these ridiculous scenarios, and she makes bank. Or maybe not. We're going to go ahead and put Barbie on hold here. And we're going to come back to her in just a little bit with another snippet clip. But for now, let's take a look at the next huckster in the next segment. Right. All right. So next up, we've got a self-proclaimed prophetess named Christy Eldridge, a.k.a. the Catholic prophet. Have a look at the title of the channel. Now, she is certainly new to Friday Fruit Clips, but don't let that worry you. She's got a video camera. She's got a microphone. And when you take those items and combine that with delusion, well, you get this. You guys are having a great day today. I want to just come out here real quick and announce to you that the Lord has really put it on my heart that he wants to be, um, he wants me to be doing everyday prophecy every day. <laughs> so, you know what? <laughs> I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I am, you know, cooking dinner for my family. I take care of my family. I'm a servant to them. My first ministry is unto my family. But I also serve the Lord Jesus Christ in the ministry that he has called me to, um, in addition to my family, right? And that is prophecy. And so, you know, starting today, I am going to be stepping out and prophesying individual prophetic words live on YouTube every day. And I, I don't know the time. I don't know. I'm going to let the Holy Spirit lead me. So I just pray that you would subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. If you need a prophetic, personal prophetic word from the Lord, you hear his voice, but it's also nice to get confirming words. God speaks that way too. So you know what? I hope you'll join me. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when I'm going live. And I'm just going to randomly start prophesying over people as led by the Holy Spirit. So Christy here has almost 5,000 subscribers. But pay attention and watch her channel over the next couple of months because it's going to explode. You're going to see it grow exponentially. And because people love this stuff, Christy, of course, she's not content with just being a plain old heretic, you know, being a Catholic and worshiping humans and dead people and idols. She wants to add false prophetess to her resume. And of course, it's very sad. I want to call her out. I want to expose this nonsense. I want to expose it because it's not just innocent and harmless like people might think. She seems innocent. Well, she's a self-proclaimed housewife, right? It's all just innocent. She says, you're going to hear from God. No, you're not, right? She has made the decision that she's going to actively target Christians online here in order to shipwreck their faith. And this is what that is. In fact, it's a good time to look at this verse. Or these are in 2 Timothy chapter 4. Look at verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned 
onto fables. This involves both Christy Eldridge, the Catholic prophet, and all those victims that she will corrupt because now she is seducing them online. Well, come on over and get a private reading. The Bible's not enough. You need to hear from me. I'm just a little old innocent housewife, but I'm going to give you a fake word. I'm going to entice you. I'm going to make sure that this is more exciting than that pesky old Bible that you've been reading. No need to study to show thyself approved. God's not going to speak to you through that Bible alone. You've got to hear what I'm going to tell you. Little housewife, Catholic prophetess. Yep. Also, you know what? When she does these personal prophecies over people, you will never, ever hear her prophesy, let's say, over somebody named Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, ooh, ooh, the Lord, oh, the Lord says he's not happy with you. The Lord says he sees what you're doing and go ahead and put your house in order uh, because you're a very evil person and you're doing this and you're doing that. It's very evil. You'll never hear those prophecies. Everything that she'll prophesy because it's all fake is going to be beneficial to the listener. So it's always going to be good. Oh, the Lord sees your struggle and he's going to reward you and the wealth transfer is coming and everything's good. and your God's favorite, stuff like that. Maybe that's a little bit over top, but, but realistically, that's what you're going to see happen here. And so, again, just want to expose this. Uh, certainly pray for this woman that, uh, that she would shut this down, that she would come out of Catholicism, and that she would come to the truth of Jesus Christ. This woman needs a lot of prayer. Pray for those online that um, if they do come across her, that they just would be convicted not to follow this woman because this is all just nonsense. So we'll end this segment and then we're going to move on to the next one. All right. So next up, we've got, well, look who it is. It's Dr. Manuel Johnson, who is absolutely a real doctor. Yes, he is. I have no doubt he's a real doctor. Thank you. I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. Of course. Okay. So, Manuel, of course, a confirmed false prophet. Did you know that he was a multi-talented deceiver? He's both a prophet and an absolute time traveler. Yes, sir. Uh, Manuel has many videos where he tells his tales of traveling through time. Of course, he always makes it back and tells us of his adventures traveling to other times, you know, just like Marty McFly and Doc. Great Scott. All right, so this is the video that we're going to be playing a clip from. As you can see, it's Dr. Manuel Johnson, and he is joined by the notorious spiritual ambulance chaser. Oh, look, it's Dr. Bo Paulney. I'm sure he's a real doctor also. You can tell me I'm a doctor. Everybody's a doctor. <laughs> Anyway, this is the video. Look at this, the great wealth transfer, right? I'm going to hover there. Look at the date this was put out, December 7th, 2021. These guys have been running this racket for years and years and years and years. Why? Because it works. And so we're going to listen to this clip right here. Let's go ahead and roll it. The United States of America. I want you to write this down. It's going to happen very soon. It's very important that you understand this. It could be weeks, it could be a few months, but it's going to happen. This is a good thing. Get ready, saints. Get ready. And it's going to hit even the media is going to say things about it. Even the mainstream media will take footage of it. When this happens, get ready because the wealth transfer is going to start to begin. Did anybody receive that? Receive it. Once this happens, the wealth transfer is going to start to begin. There's a mighty anointing right now happening. Amen. 2022 is going to be a year of uncommon supernatural healing. Amen. Amen. 
2022, the Lord had already showed me that many people are going to be supernaturally healed in the year 2022 without even going to a healing service. They will wake up and it's gone. Man. They will wake up and like, wow. <laughs> they will wake up and go, I look 20 years younger, my God. So folks, these two guys right here, the exact definition of reprobate, they do not care that they're destroying people's lives. Clearly in that clip, you heard Johnson both prophesy the wealth transfer as well as 2022 being a supernatural year for just miraculous healing, none of which happened, none of it did. He said it was gonna to start to happen in a few weeks, maybe a few months at the most, it didn't happen. So these guys are monsters. They just don't care anything for that almighty dollar. And so, in fact, financially, the economy has gotten worse and people are struggling more than ever to make ends meet. Uh, so why does this matter? Well, here's why. This is fraud. This is spiritual fraud. These guys are spiritually murdering the faith of people who, when they hear this false hope that this guy's peddling, that both these guys are peddling, they get excited. They think that there's really a wealth transfer coming from God Almighty. Why? Well, because the prophet said so. And then so when it doesn't come, what happens? Well, that person's faith shipwrecks and they walk away from Jesus Christ, right? Possibly lost for all eternity because of the actions of these greedy frauds. And this is why it is so damaging, so damaging. They are our brothers and sisters because of their false prophecies. Now, again, do the search. He does this multiple times a year. Why? Well, because it works. For the brainwash followers who don't hold these false prophets accountable and they stick by them, they continue to suffer them to do this. They enable them to do this and they don't hold them accountable. So it's very sad. But what they don't see is the multitudes who walk away from Jesus because of their actions. So we want to call it out. We want to expose this and call it out in the name of Jesus Christ. This is pure evil. What these men and all these, Julie Green, Amanda Grace, they all do it. They all preach the wealth transfer, Robin Bullock, so on and so forth. And we need to call this out. We need to stand up for the truth in Jesus Christ and call out these scam artists. It's pure evil in Jesus Christ's name. Let's move on and get back to what's happening with Prophetess Barbie. Listen to me. You should not be on survival mode. Okay, so we're back with Prophetess Barbie. Here she is. Take a look at this title. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're not listening to me! You're about to experience heaven on earth. Hashtag wealth transfer. Listen to me. Here's Barbie. She's getting in on it. Why? Because it works. This is like the oldest, dumbest scam that people just fall for every time. It's unbelievable. And so she's doing it also. But Barbie's got a bit of a gripe here. She's going to rant a little bit because she's not getting in the donations for the quality of prophecies that she gives. So we're going to listen to her rant a little bit. So let's go ahead and listen to me. The same. Why is it that there's, that there's no spiritual increase at all? It's because you are not a sower and God gives seeds to the sower. So what you are doing, some of you guys, is every time you receive from God, you take it and you walk away without giving back to God, without honouring God, without blessing God. You swallow seeds and then it will fill up your tummy in a moment. Temporary satisfaction, right? Temporary fulfilment, right? But you're swallowing the seeds. You're swallowing them. And, you know, when you need another seed, God is looking at you like, you keep taking from me, but you're not giving back. You're not feeding back into my kingdom. You're not blessing my children. You're not, you're not blessing me. You're not honouring me. And I give seeds to the sower. I give seeds to the ones that sow so that I can increase them so that they, they can receive a greater harvest. Okay. So that's what it's all about with these scam artists, these false prophets, folks. Now, let's be clear. Certainly, there is nothing wrong at all with donating to your church or to your favorite ministry. 
biblically based ministries grounded in the word, right? Fighting for the faith. Uh, nothing wrong with it at all. So there you go. But folks, if you've got a social media psychic, like what you're looking at here, uh, she's posing as a prophet and she comes online to chastise listeners because they've not been paying for her readings. Folks, you got to flee. You got to click off that channel. You got to run away. All right. They're scam artists. Anyway, stay away from Barbie here. She's a scammer. And with that, guess what? We are done with this episode. All right, folks, well, that's going to do it for this 64th episode of Friday Fruit Clips. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. Please remember to pray for those who are caught up in the delusion of following these false prophets, these false teachers. And please pray for the false prophets and the false teachers also. We don't want anyone to be lost eternally. So please remember to pray. Also, if you want to support my ministry, you certainly can. If you go right down into the description box, there's a couple of different ways you can do so. And I sure do thank you. And with that, another episode in the can. My staff is shutting off the lights. They're ready to get out of here. Seems to be just a wonderful, delicious fish fry up the road. That's where we're all going. My wife is here. We're ready to go. So, and setting the alarm. And with that, as always, we want to give you some great advice as we depart until next week. And that advice is to always, always stay fruity. All right, folks, we'll see you next week. God bless. Take care. Watch this. Hallelujah. Don't you?